Drive Hive Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, as you can see here, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, actually what Jimmy's gonna be doing, he's gonna show me how. But the cool part about what we're doing is we're gonna check the valve seats on this to see it out, how it actually seals. Um, I did get some new valves in today, so not 100% sure if those are the ones we're gonna use. So we ordered some more. But we're gonna use the valves anyway to check the actual seats on this. We did touch up a couple of the good valves. So what we're gonna do is check these seats and what we're using is Dicom Steel Blue Layout Fluid. What you do is you put it on the valve seat here and then you go in and you put the valve down to see how it seats. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and watch this process. So here we go. So the first step of this process, which Jimmy's already done, is you take the Dakin Blue steel layout, and when you open it up, it actually has a little brush here like that. What you do is you lightly go over the valve seats. Um, it's a pretty quick process, not too bad. Um, just let it dry up for just a few before we get this started. So we will definitely see you here in a few. Thank you. All right, so as you see, what we did was did the Dicom Blue. Um, Jimmy went ahead and took his old grinder with the stone kit at the right angle, sharpened the stones up, and started touching up the seats. Um, we did notice that we had some nicks. I took a picture of one of them. Um, but what we did notice is, is when we decided to lap these valves in. Now, mind you, we already ground the exhaust valves, and those are the ones that were okay. Let me see if I can get in here, though. So the valve angle is at the correct seat angle but right up in here you see the witness mark when we lap the valve of that being really 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 low down on there well that actually needs to be higher so what we're gonna end up having to do is regrind these valves but for now just to kind of make use of our time we're gonna go ahead and get the intake side of these done see you in a few All right, so if you look right there, that's a little bit of a nick in the actual valve seat. Um, trying to get in there without it um, blurring on you, but what you can see, that's not good. Um, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and touch that up. That can actually cause a little bit of premature valve failure. We want proper seal. We want these to last. So on to the next step, which is just grinding that down a little bit. Look at that brand new valve, checking it on the stem. Absolute garbage. So yeah, kind of back to square one, more delays. Can't wait for those Ferraris to show up. You know what? 
not too happy. Throw a second one on there. Didn't even check the stem on the other. Um, as you can see here, the second one right out of the box. It's also bent four to five thousandths out. So what I think we're going to do is we are just going to have to wait, like I said just a minute ago, on the quality ones and get back at it. So, yeah, stay tuned.